So, let me start with the definition of arrhythmia. Arrhythmia is an abnormality in four entity rule. The first one is weight. So, weight one, because we all know that a person's heart rate is supposed to be between 60 to 100 beats per minute. So, 61, that combo, when you have abnormal heart rate, ho, on a hundred panda daily boy one even abnormality four. So that's when we call it an arrhythmia. Or go say abnormality in rhythm home. Right? Heartbeat is supposed to be regular. Hey, right? but when there is an irregularity in our heartbeat, then like when you have an arrhythmia one of doctor. Or go third one go say it's an abnormality in sequence, right? Of the sequence one with the key of one that week. When our heart is conducting Q in Tavana, first night is atrial depolarization. Hunta. Hey, this push is here. Atrial depolarization, hunta, or the secondary ventricular depolarization, and then eventually ventricular depolarization. What it up? You know, sequentially done a quality. But when there is an abnormality in this sequence, so the situation happen, we are going to call it an arrhythmia. Let us suppose K above ventricular. Depolarization kusata first match it. I mean atrial depolarization kusata the first match ventricular depolarization boy when it that's when we call it an arrhythmia. Now the last one is location, hey, and this is also one of the most important one, hey. It's not a cube the only place where the heart is allowed to generate autonomous activity is SA node, hey. But that doesn't mean that heart ma SA node or a place so that the autonomous activity haru generate hunsa. Okay, there are three places. Okay, I'll my very first thing one say it. Heart ma say tinta thaunsa where there is generation of autonomous activity. Hey. The first one is SA node, the second one is AV node, and the third one is Purkinje fibers. Hey, Tara, this autonomous activity doesn't really come into play. Your AV node or Purkinje fibers go, hey? Only SA nodal activity, say, generate one such throughout the entire myocardium. Pane Pashi, AV node and Purkinje fibers are our backup system, hey? Whenever the SA node is not working, the AV node or Purkinje fibers go, say, your autonomous activity, say, start one such, hey? So, let us suppose SA node must start now, if the autonomous activity starts in the AV node, then that's also another form of arrhythmia. Kita kune atrial myocardium or atrial myocardium ko kune abnormal cell ma or ventricular myocardium ko kune abnormal cell ma pani autonomous activity start boy wane. That's also an arrhythmia either. I hope it's clear, right? Clear boy na wane so no lai. I hope this slide is clear, right? Now we are going to talk about the phases in cardiac cycle. Hey, in order to know about arrhythmia, you take it to me important. So, hey, your phases are do. cardiac cycle. Mate, phases are okay. Okay, and that phase zero, one, two, three, and again, phase four. Okay, first, mate, let's start with phase four. You want to go to heart, go resting membrane potential. Okay. When the heart is in, on, in rest, hey, you say phase four by. Then what happens? Atrial depolarization, get a ventricular depolarization, when I take you, no part of the on the head, sodium must enter, right? Sodium say, I'm from myocardium, enter for no person, hey? So your sodium enter when you phase light, say, I'm phase one, bantam. As you can see in the, I mean, phase zero, bantam, as you can see in the picture. Hey, phase zero. So when the sodium is entering, you will say depolarize by the and then it stops entering under special key on the repolarization starts on that exactly at this point. Hey, yeah, of course, so at this point, the repolarization starts. Repolarization, 
Okay, it means the heart is gaining back its negative charges. I know, because it's about negative charges. Say, potassium by the phalerol gain goes away. It's my depolarized body. Go on, it's positive charges gain. Go on, it's like sodium entry. Go on, it's and here we have repolarization start by us because potassium is only found in the heart. Go myocardial cells. Le. So potassium channels are going to open, and then the heart is going to throw all the potassium out. Hey, it starts from phase one. Hey, the phase one my is only potassium that is on the. So again, this is decreasing. But what happens here is in phase two there is a plateau phase. Why is there a plateau phase? Banda hai. It says, "My case, K changes I could hai na hai. Hamre electrical activity my heart ko." So phase two is a plateau phase. What happens in this phase is calcium channels also open. So yahan se ya ki boy ko sada potassium potassium channel uh, mute koi din hola hai microphone. Okay. Yeah, it's a potassium channel open by the repolarization start by because I potassium is going out of the myocardial cells. But here also the calcium is getting inside. They buy it, I'd say. Yeah, keep on it. So calcium in and potassium out. So there is this plateau phase. But exactly somewhere around this point, the calcium channels close. Hey, calcium channel close by Saki Bashi. Say your third phase, my say only potassium is going out and calcium is not entering. Hey. So he yeah, has a repolarization is still continuing on this part. She say heart co electrical activity decrease by the very resting membrane potential mount. Hey, so let us revise at that resting membrane potential. This part she depolarization my key by the sodium enter by the say sodium entry by the it's going up till here and he have a repolarization start by you sodium is going up. I mean potassium is going out. And it that say potassium is going out. Also, the calcium is coming in. It that say keep by the potassium is going out. And if very yeah, say keep by it goes on resting membrane potential. So why is this important, Panda? Why am I explaining all this, Panda? Hey, say L let say keep determine goes on. I'm like keep medication use corny. What kind of arrhythmia it is? And what medications are we to use? It is going to determine hey all of this. So suppose I'm like, yeah, if you want any medication that works in the sodium channels, then we are going to have to give these medications. Hey, sodium channel blockers. I need this special. Eta dira work on your medication. Tayo when calcium channel blockers. So we'll come to it later. Hey, I'll just tell you the mechanism. Say yad ko no hola. It will depolarization, repolarization. Go see the hands on sabi. Hey, ta. Now. Let us talk about mechanisms of arrhythmogenesis. Hey, arrhythmia take us to generate one cell. What's its mechanism? One little. Let us talk about it a little. First, Mate, it's because of abnormal automaticity. So, automaticity, as I said earlier, it has basically to do with the SA node. Hey, no. Get the SA node to ekdome chito chito fire by regosa or its activity is decreased by regosa. As we can see in the picture itself, hey, yeah, say, yeah, the key and I can normally say the heart should fire at this rate. Tora say, yo, it's not fast fire, boy. Let's say it's getting faster. We'll come to it later, hey. You take a little bit of brief, uh, brief explanation, Matthew, just to give you a little bit of idea about what it's all about, hey, the. You know, that's the abnormal automaticity boy. You just think that mechanism won't tell. You've got to remember that, hey, first matter. Abnormal automaticity. Or go to take it out of re-entry, so. And it test for cheetah triggered activity. So re-entry take us to the top. Now, again, look at this picture over here. Hey, your second picture, Mate. Let us suppose this one's the atria, hey. And it that there are ventricles, so. If you have the ventricles, ma, supply gonna lie. Ki use on sata banda. AV node is the pathway, right? Yeah, say AV node or the pathway sa. So is there yeah is there supply by the say ventricles my electrical impulses should go right. So yeah, say if there is an abnormal cell or kita yung the abnormal pathway boy when it's like the hami bundle of Kent one sa may this occurs in Wolf Parkinson's White syndrome. This also will come to it later, but just to get an overall idea of what it is, hey, you would say, yeah, kiss hot up. 
you can normal hamra even noodle pathway boy let us suppose right and this is the abnormal pathway so esari eta but the zai hamle atria but the ventricles ma esari pathway by the zai impulses conduct to no parne one ta actual ma there is sometimes what happens is because of this abnormal cells your abnormal cells se ki huncha ta bhanda koile kai chai sari afno refractory period ba ta baira ai de sake and what's refractory period is refractory period is the period when the heart is not supposed to conduct hai suppose ventricular depolarization bhai raheko cha bhane atria le ta conduct garnu bhayena ta atria is supposed to be in a relaxed phase hai na ventricles contract bhai raheko bela ma atria ta relax huna paryo ni ta so that's what you call refractory phase hai so let us suppose this tissue has come out of its, its refractory phase kina bhane okay it could be एट स्केमिक टिश्यू होना सकता कि एब नर्मल पाथवे होना सकता तस्त भाई यो इम्पल्स ने गए ये के भाई यो टिश्यू लि एक्टिवेट कर इसी एट सर्कस सर्कस फर्म कर सकता हई री एंट्री पाथवे फर्म कर सकता सो इट किप्स अन गोइंग लाइक दिस इन सर्कल्स हई तस्त भाई हार्ड इज गोइंग टू बीट रियल फास्ट मी तो ये भाई I hope it's getting clear, hey. You only get the complex some mechanism, but then it's not that difficult, hey. So AV node bara is a zanu parini the ventricles matheo, but ventricles matheo zanu to zanu so tar fear you ki gor sa da. Ita bata reentry pathway bata you abnormal pathway bata fear enter gorero. It just starts rotating like this. So when does this happen? Is let us suppose. Atrial organ abandoning because they say you face prolonged bleeding. Hey, atrial deep repolarization go you face say suppose prolonged bleeding. Suppose potassium the body may get damaged, come to hypokalemia, so when it pushes it, there is potassium to out to no point to repolarize when I go lagi. But when our body has depleted potassium, then we do not have enough potassium to throw out. Hey, na body may enough potassium who they know the. In that situation, what happens is we can get this. Two situation where right? say your sodium channels are as say refractory phase by the body and skin right? say conduct going as such. Your sodium channels are as refractory phase by the body and skin so only this area say conduct going as such. Hey, only the special re-entry part going as such. Now let's talk about triggered activity. Hey, right? triggered activity. Say we can divide it into early after depolarization and delayed after depolarization. So what's early after depolarization? Hey, da. So after depolarization, one era name itself makes it clear. Hey, it's the depolarization after the repolarization. Hey, this is a depolarization. It that's a repolarization start by so. Okay, let let us see in this picture. Hey, your picture makes much clear. At that depolarization by the phase zero, and this entire phase is of is the phase of repolarization. Hey, I can discuss for you because I say, and there's such a gap in the your phase four, which is the resting membrane potential. Hey, at that zero gap by the phase or co depolarization and repolarization. This is the normal rhythm of the heart. So at that the key abnormality by the some one that here is a repolarization co bit some may say there is another. Depolarization that's going on. Hey, and let's say early after depolarization, man. Hey, it has started to no parni hunda. Ham resting membrane potential. It has hunda. It has our noya depolarization start to no go sada. It has our start by then. Okay, as you can see, yeah, depolarization go. I mean, repolarization phase. Okay, bit sa bara. There is another generation of re. I mean, depolarization, right? So when does this happen? When the head is early after depolarization, say when there is prolonged action potential. So as I said earlier, your action potential say or a specific and go like who no parne. If it's prolonged, then some of the sodium channels will come out of its refractory period. Hey, sodium channels go say a specific period onta for which it is supposed to remain. Remain silent. It is not supposed to be active, hey. But in the middle, lamu some may some repolarization boyo. Get action potential. It may prolonged boyo. When as I said earlier, hypokalemia. Ma pin gusto huna saksa. Repolarization prolonged huna saksa, hey. 
this is just a situation matter. There is going to be an early after depolarization if there is bradycardia or if there is early activation of sodium channels. Hey, depolarization kill you know the sodium channels in the body and in sodium say sodium channels by the interbody on you the so your sodium channels say early in activate by when it is a wave from better early after depolarization on the now the same goes with delayed after depolarization you open it repolarization possible depolarization hole but you at the early thing with a night your figure might just still look as you can see in this figure it is okay there is where is it Okay, as you can see in this figure, hey, you see bit some repolarization ke bit some boy ko so tara delayed se ki boy ta wanda after the repolarization ends, hey, abruptly after the repolarization ends, or ko depolarization start unta. Your gapping zone sani ya normal ma zone your gapping sani. You say delayed after depolarization ma hu dayna. You say cost to cost cases ma hunsa ta wanda kiri body ma calcium in the me body boy bani hey. Hypercalcium yako kisma. Calcium body barbani ki hunsa. In our heart, there is also another channel right, that exchanges calcium for sodium. This is sodium or pitra on a thalsa. Hey, sodium ions or pitra. I push a ki hunsa. There is going to be another wave of depolarization abruptly after the repolarization. Hey, you're gapping it, would I not? They bore a like delayed one. You know, the repolarization the complete voice okay, go santa. It's not halfway through the repolarization as in this picture. Hey, in this picture, say it's halfway through the repolarization. Sorry, has a repolarization has already completed. So hypercalcemia ma hunsa, sympathetic activity increased by when it hunsa, digitalis ma pani hunsa, hey, and we'll talk about the action of digitalis, hey, your question say has been also asked in one of the NMC, hey, one of the NMC years, I don't remember which year, the digitalis with the mechanism of action pani so they go to so it's very much important to know the mechanism of action of every drug, say, kinani you study right on cases or resolve going to be lamapani. It's very helpful. So digital is going to be also because yeah, digital is mentioned by go so it's going mechanism of action say key hota bonda kiri. It interrupts the sodium potassium ATP's channel. Hey, as we all know, sodium potassium ATP is like key or sata and that sodium la by the falsa and potassium pitra enter on santa. It's like to interrupt course, hey, digitalistly. So digitalist toxicity could case map bunny that DAD una soxa that is delayed after digit after depolarization. Or go say case of the hyponatremia on ischemia co case my ischemia say I've already mentioned in the previous video my lay ischemic heart disease co penny or a video correct as my ischemia like or city or in my corona so when I had told about it so ischemia what it actually does is ischemia ischemic tissue or infected tissue especially it's not the key on the hyper permeable viral electrolytes are the interviewed in so only obviously autonomous firing on a thousand eight that's the tissues ma and then what it firms is it's going to firm several re-entrant foci hey in case of ischemia so that's how it causes delayed after depolarization. Hey, so what's the treatment in this one is, is much we can give sodium channel blocker or calcium channel blocker. This is the bio as you can see in this picture. So say you, you is very abruptly after the repolarization, soon you wave from bio because it's not going to happen, right? There's going to be a gap. Any, Early after depolarization, where we can increase the heart rate. Hey, as I've said, it is because of prolonged depolarization or bradycardia. So if you increase the heart rate, it's going to be you we can abolish this early after depolarization. I would say let's talk about the classes of drugs. Hey, it's very important to know about the classes of drugs, hey, because they have also asked about this in the NMC. By actually say class 1A, which of the drug is class 1A or something? There was a question like this. So just memorize it and you've got to know what its mechanism of action is, right? Eh? So class 1 was a so class 1 drug is a sodium channel that blockers are, right? So one has been divided into 1A, 1B, and 1C, right? 1A might is quinidine, procainamide, and disopyramide. Any SLT SLT K Gors hot up on the Hedi LT repolarization like prolonged Gorsa. 
when you block the sodium channels because sodium channels block going to okay? depolarization like block going to right when the sodium enters it's going to depolarize the cells so your drugs are a mechanism of action say is the prolongation of repolarization conduction and repolarization hey and there is lidocaine and megxylatine these drugs say what do they do is they shorten repolarization is good to they like this to affect the time minimal effect on conduction and repolarization then we have clicanamide and propafenone and it's a marked prolongation of conduction hey Conduction delay got it, early arrhythmogenesis huna bada roksa, hey ta. And then there is another class of drug, class two, you have beta blockers or bio, propanolol, atinolol, you have class two ho, hey. You have to use cases ma dineta sympathetic overactivity by the tachycardia by the cases ma we can give. Hey, class three ba ni kuchay potassium channel blockers ho, hey. Potassium channel blockers ekhi gorsa ta. Prolongation of repolarization. Agi may lebani ko thini hypokalemia gorauni drugs haru or hypokalemia gorauni or potassium ka activity lai inibat ko ni drugs haru in har lepe ni ko le kai thay ki gorauna saksa thay arrhythmia arrhythmia gorauna saksa hai. But then they are also helpful in stopping arrhythmia hai. So isko side effects pani arrhythmia ni unta hai your drugs haru ko thay. So prolongation of repolarization by kosarita. Blocking the potassium channels. So these drugs are amiodarone, britalium, and isotalol. Hey, isotalol. Hey, so these are these are class three drugs. And in class four drugs, say calcium channel blockers are the bio, verapamil. So I hope this is clear. Hey, classes are very important. You need to memorize this table. Hey, they can ask. Any questions can be asked, hey, so you need to be prepared. The previous question about it, you can get cues, okay? Because you can go questions or you no not know how Now, let's jump into the types of arrhythmia, hey. So now, this is according to the rate, by hey. Differentiation according to the, I mean, categorization according to the rate. Do the keys hot up on that? Kita tachyarrhythmia unta, kita bradyarrhythmia unta. Tachyarrhythmia pani, it could be regular or irregular. Hey, now let us start with the regular tachyarrhythmia. Hey ta. Or let's say the regular tachycardia. Kusu kusu situations ma unta manera. The first one is sinus tachycardia. Or another is supraventricular tachycardia. This means we should also focus on the nomenclature. Hey. Because that gives us a lot of idea about what the disease is going to be about. Hey, supraventricular tachycardia. So this is the ventricles. So supra means above the ventricle. So we have ventricles chromatically under the atria under any AV node under. So this disease has to do something with the atria and the AV node, right? So we need to be very much. I mean, we need to also keep in point is to kuraru. Hey. We shouldn't be missing any such points. Hey, ta. Ek da may mindful ba hi rakte. Ham le questions are solved ko ni bilam na. Na ekko questions pani we can solve it this way. Hey, by just breaking it into pieces. Hey, ta. And the third one is atrial flutter with regular block. Hey. And fourth one is ventricular tachycardia. So we'll talk about these in detail here. Okay, first match is sinus tachycardia. Hey, ta. Sinus tachycardia, as we have already said, you have a regular rhythm hole. That means P wave and a QRS complex and a T wave. So it's going to be same, right? Normal heartbeat ma the same. Okay, P wave and the same. So QRS complex ma pani ke change ako na. T wave is also the same as any normal person would be having. Hey, the state normally in the juice. But Kate say abnormal hunsata bond rate say abnormal hunsai normal rate say kati bane theta agina maile 60 to 100 beats per minute. So S mat say sine wave node bate firing hunsa they were a sine static cardia bane ko ho. So this firing is more than 100 beats per minute. Okay, right? They were a say a lie sine static cardia bane some because the origin of this is SA node itself. Right? 
Now there is a mnemonic over here, active mom. Kele kele gorda sinus tachycardia hunsa da banda hiri. Yuta anemia ma hunsa. Tos anemia ma there is decreased hemoglobin. And hemoglobin carries oxygen, right? So that's going to give a message to the heart to pump faster. Hey, deliver that he's the hyperdynamic circulation for him. Cardiogenic shock map in his sinus tachycardia. Because the heart is trying real hard to compensate. Hey, no? Temperature increase map in his sinus tachycardia. Hey? So E, uh, cardiogenic shock. So from C, we also have coffee. Coffee lipid sympathetic stimulation. Hey? Most important uh, phenomenon of sinus tachycardia is sympathetic stimulation. Hey, we should not forget about this. Keep on the heart. Go better receptors. Light to stimulate. Call it out. Hey? volume deficit na obviously hypotension emotions and pain again sympathetic stimulation massive bleeding map volume deficit or sympathetic stimulation oxygenation for hypoxia map malignant hypothermia map so these are the causes of sinus tachycardia. And there's, there's not much to do in this case. It's not a hamlet. Causative factor is abolished. This is a normal treatment. Obviously, we need to correct the anemia. It's not a hamlet. Causative factor is main treatment. Okay? Causative factor is abolished. Suppose temperature is high. Boy. So when temperature decrease coronary this is now let's talk about atrial tachycardia. Atrial tachycardia could say two the mechanisms. So, hey. The first one is AV nodal re entrant tachycardia. You think, uh, we have discussed about it earlier, hey, AV nodal re entrant tachycardia. It's my say, you're an ectopic focus on the heart, ma, and this ectopic focus is going to cause this re entrant tachycardia. So I've already shown you in the picture above, right? Because it's a re-entrant tachycardia. It's a circus movement from by the city. Let us suppose here is an ectopic, ectopic focus. This is a by when it's a AV node, say, key on tata. AV node, the ventricles map pass going to be the impulses. The key on tata. Now, but the fear is circulated by the SAV. Hey, atrial, atrial. Tachycardia gorona soxa eta. And there is one more thing over here, one more cause. Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Hey, it is very important, hey, this this syndrome. So Smatiki Hunsata Banda, there is an abnormal pathway between atria and the ventricles. Hey, it's an abnormal pathway form hunsa. And this pathway is also known as bundle of Kent. Hey, your pathway ko naam si ki hota. Remember this name, bundle of Kent, abnormal pathway. Normal, normally the AV node is the only pathway. Hey, atrial ventricle ko bitama. AV node yura mata pathway kono parni ho. Tarat se koi koi mante mante yura abnormal pathway pa mboy ko hinsa. And this is what you call bundle of Kent. So your bundle of Kent se doy le pani play ma oni te hai na hai. As I've mentioned earlier, normal vedam pani boy rai ko hinsa hai. Heart go. There are quite a few bundle of Kent later. Arrhythmia gorona socks are top on that. When it starts to repolar, I mean, when it starts to come out of its, its refractory phase earlier, hey, it's good refractory phase, but you're chido chido on a miski not halio baniki on tata yamado. Is there impulses to AV node baragoi rego santa? As you can see, it's going from here. And yap of the head is a yoto already refractory phase by the by the ice okay for hunsa. And a bundle of can say kiota banda hit both ways away is go conduction say. AV nodes say atria to ventricles matra hunsa, hey, ventricles to atria has a mundana. But bundle of can matte pathways can, I mean, the conduction can go both ways, hey. So this is the case where you have a fairy key conduction for HMI, for your circus pathway from boy, right? It's a key by the heartbeat, tachycardia. It's going to get very dangerous in this situation, right? I hope it's clear. Now let's talk about the ECG. Custom that the ECG one that he needs a he. Kuni kuni keys mate. P wave is going to get buried within the QRS, right? But in case of Wolf Parkinson White, there is going to be delta wave. Now let us talk about this delta wave a little, hey? 
यो चाहिँ वोल्फ पार्किन्सन वाइट सिन्ड्रोमको ईसीजी हो यसमा चाहिँ के हुन्छ त यो पी वेभ हो राइट राइट आफ्टर द पी वेभ द फर्स्ट नेगेटिभ डिफ्लेक्सन लाई चाहिँ क्यू वेभ भन्छौ हैन हामी पी वेभ पछिको फर्स्ट नेगेटिभ डिफ्लेक्सन क्यू वेभ हो त्यसपछि फर्स्ट पोजिटिभ डिफ्लेक्सन आर वेभ हो अनि सेकेन्ड नेगेटिभ डिफ्लेक्सन चाहिँ एस वेभ हो वी क्यान यो बुझिरहेको छ नि त हैन फर्स्ट पोजिटिभ डिफ्लेक्सन चाहिँ के हो त क्यू वेभ हो तर यहाँ चाहिँ यो वेभको सट्टा के हुन्छ त डेल्टा वेभ पर्न हुन्छ है दिस इज डेल्टा वेभ डेल्टा वेभलाई चाहिँ हामी के पनि भन्छौँ त अपस्लरिङ अफ क्युरस कम्प्लेक्स कि त अपस्लरिङ अफ आर वेभ पनि भन्छौँ है यसले चाहिँ के डिनोट गर्छ त भन्दा कन्डक्सन भाइ द एबनर्मल पाथवे डिनोट गर्छ है एबनर्मल पाथवेले हामीले के नाम दिएको थियौँ त बन्डल अफ केन्ट है This denotes the conduction via the bundle of Kent. It's a normal AV, AV node by the boy co conduction high now, which is denoted by Q wave and this pressure R wave is wave. You say, "Ke ho ta delta wave ho of Wolf Parkinson White syndrome." So, as far as she say, what what are the treatment? Hi, what is the treatment? अफ के त एट्रियल ट्याकी कार्डियाको ट्रिटमेन्ट चाहिँ के के गर्न सक्छौँ त हामी भन्दा द फर्स्ट थिङ इज मेकानिकल म्यानेजर है यो चाहिँ एकदमै ह्यान्डी हुन्छ यो त हामीले यतिकै वेन अ पेसेन्ट फिल्स पाल्पिटेसन होइन त्यति बेला पेसेन्टले आफै पनि गर्न सक्छ यसमा चाहिँ के हुन सक्छ त भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ एउटा चाहिँ वाल्सलवर्स म्यानेजर हुन्छ अर्को क्यारेटेड मसाज गरेर गर्न सकिन्छ यसले चाहिँ के गर्छ त भन्दा यसले चाहिँ बेगल स्टिमुलेसन गर्छ है यो म्यानुभरले कसरी गर्ने त यो चाहिँ वाल्सवर्स म्यानुभर हो है यो पिक्चरमा कसरी गर्ने त भन्दा पेसेन्टलाई चाहिँ आस आस्क द पेसेन्ट टु पेन्च देयर नोज है नोज पेन्च गर्ने माउथ क्लोज गर्ने अनि त्यसपछि देन ट्राई टु ब्रिद आउट फर्सिबली है यसले चाहिँ के गर्छ त भन्दाखेरि फर्स्टमा त हार्ट रेट इन्क्रिज गराउँछ बट इभेन्चुअली यसले चाहिँ हार्ट रेट डिक्रिज गराउँछ है भेगल स्टिमुलेसन गरेर है सो दिस इज अल्सो वान अफ द ट्रिटमेन्ट है किनभने यसले चाहिँ भेगल स्टिमुलेसन गरेर हार्ट रेट डिक्रिज गराउनु भएकोले अ पर्सन क्यान ट्राई दिस इभन एट होम होइन अर्को त के भयो त भन्दाखेरि क्यासियम च्यानल ब्लकर बेटा ब्लकर्सहरू पनि भयो यो चाहिँ फेरि वोल्फ पार्किन्स एन्ड वाइट सेन्ट्रममा चाहिँ दिन मिल्दैन है Again, I will talk about it in a while, hey? Kina di na mula na ba nila? Especially protein, amide, bio, amiodarone, bio. You see, sodium channel blocker ho, amiodarone, rasotalol, say, potassium channel blocker sa ro ho. Sodium channel blocker leki gor ni bio ta ba? Na kasi refractory period lai balaw ni bio, hey? Sodium channel block ba? Because the conduction bni block ba yun ta, isn't it, hey? अनि पोटासियम च्यानल ब्लक गरेपछि चाहिँ के गर्ने भयो त रिपोलराइजेसनलाई इन्क्रिज गरेर चाहिँ रिपोलराइजेसनको टाइमलाई इन्क्रिज गरेर चाहिँ भ्यारी कार्डिया गराउन सक्छ होइन आई मिन ओके अब यो डिसी कार्डियो भर्जन चाहिँ ओके इफ अल अफ दिस मेक अल अफ दिस ट्रिटमेन्ट फेल त्यसपछि चाहिँ डिसी कार्डियो भर्जन पनि गर्न सकिन्छ देन वी ह्याभ एबुलेसन अफ पाथवे Ablation of pathway. Say, how do we do it? Banda, we insert a catheter, right, via your veins, and this is we reach to the heart. And it is what she did. Is how the banda KG radio ablation got some. Hey, this was she did handle radiation through body. Right, so your abnormal pathway joins this honey. This bundle of Kent that we talked about. And like they handle abolish got no good some. Hey, this pathway like. So that's what we call ablation, radio ablation of the pathway, or we can surgically excite the pathway as well. Hey, right? now your delta wave that we have already talked about it. This was your junctional tachycardia, boy. Hey, junctional tachycardia, the enhanced automaticity of AV node leg or your hunter. You see, what's the what's the cases now? Hunter, boy, like any when there is digital toxicity. अगि नभने जस्तो डिजिटलिसले चाहिँ के गर्ने भयो त सोडियम पोटासियम एटी बेस लाई इनहिबिट गर्छ है इनहिबिट भन्दा पनि इट इज गोइंग टु इन्टरप्ट द एक्शन अफ सोडियम पोटासियम एटी बेस सो त्यसले गर्दाखेरि चाहिँ द सोडियम इज गोइंग टु बिल्ड अप इनसाइड द मायोकार्डियम 
So when sodium is going to build up inside the myocardium, ki unsa ta sodium se calcium sanga exchange hoye ra, calcium se ekdam hi tere hone jaanta in your myocardium. So whenever there is more calcium, there is going to be enhanced AV node automaticity. Okay, ma fir yeh ja. I missed a very important point hai ta. I'll talk about this. Aile, aise node se. Okay, let us talk about which part of the heart is dependent on which electrolytes. Hey, da. Is a node ki ma dependent sa? Calcium ma dependent sa is mainly. Is a node ma say calcium channel tharu hunsa voltage gated calcium channels. So, is a node activity is dependent on calcium channels. Also, a b nodal activity is dependent on calcium channels. Hey, the atrial myocardial activities are dependent on. Sodium channels. This is very ventricular myocardial activity is also dependent on sodium channels. And your Purkinje fiber is also dependent on sodium channels, right? So the only portions of the heart that is dependent on calcium channels is SA node raw, AV node. So whenever there is going to be more calcium in our heart, that is going to enhance the automaticity, right? So due to that toxicity, let the key go around total. Sodium like increase got higher, but she they let go that here they sodium raw calcium exchanger exchange going channel by the calcium when you increase got higher junction with that key got higher on the top side. Ischemia obviously ischemia is also can also cause junction with that key got higher. So yeah, again junction with that key got higher is the automaticity of the AV node, right? Because it's the junction between the cava atria and the ventricles, right? That they were we have named it junctional tachycardia. So ischemia map any obviously ischemic tissues are the it can autonomous firing gully has a especially excessive use of catecholamines because catecholamines also works on AV node, right? So how is the ECG going to be in this situation, Banda Hari Sai? Retrograde P wave unsa hai? Retrograde P wave se kosa situation ma unsa ta banda hai? AV neural activity increase pa hai? Ventricles are going to contract earlier hai? Ani ventricles baare se atrium ma se impulses dance hai? Ye abnormal abnormality le gare rote. Ventricles baare se atrium ma impulse dance. Normally atrium should be sending impulses to the ventricle. Te le gare dahe se vada upright P wave unu pa hai? Thomas se there is going to be retrograde P wave. Now the treatment of junctional tachycardia. Hey, so we should remember four drugs. Hey, that works on the AV node. The last one, me A B C D. Ko ni mo nek ne yad ko na soksam. So A B C D ko ni mo nek hey. The A stands for adenosine. Hey, adenosine. It blocks the AV nodal conduction. B stands for beta blockers. Kina ni agi na bani. So sympathetic activity le gorda hai. Then AV node na work kaise? C stands for calcium channel blockers, and D stands for digox digoxin. Okay. Now let's talk about the atrial flutter. Hey da. Now atrial flutter is also a regular tachycardia. Hey, it's unlike atrial fibrillation. Atrial flutter is regular. Atrial fibrillation is a little different. So, when they hear atrial flutter regular, and so any heart beats, any it's not as much as atrial fibrillation. Hey, da. So what happens in atrial flutter? Let's talk about that a little further. Atrial flutter might be organized electrical activity, so meaning that it's Regular, hey, regular consent matter upon the heavy day. You waves are here now, right? These are four P waves, right? P wave, P wave is saying, right? So, four P waves, but she said there is an upstroke of QRS complex. And that would be four P waves, but she said there is an upstroke of QRS complex. You will say, allocate the node course of the atrial flutter, the node course of P waves, one of the Q, the atrial depolarization of that means atria is contracting your heart. Hey, the AV node like a course of the AV node has a very important superpower. Hey, its power is to filter the filter keta bana kiri excess electrical activity. Hey, whenever atria lets excess electrical activity through course of. तो तो बेला से इलेफिल्टर गोर सा है, तो चारों तरफ एट्रियल 
contraction pachi euta ventricular contraction bhayeko cha hai ya pani after four atrial contraction there is one atrial uh, ventricular contraction so this this is in a regular pattern right four is to one block so that is why we call it atrial flutter with regular block okay so most of the times it's usually two is to one hey but in the figure it has been shown yeah it's a four is to one block hey so is my key body was hot on the av node conducts every two or three atrial impulses hey so yeah it's after four atrial impulses there is one ventricular contraction so this gives rise to what characteristic sawtooth pattern hey this looks like a sawtooth so a atrial flutter might say characteristic sawtooth pattern hunsa then let's talk about the management of atrial flutter if the patient is hemodynamically stable we just give them rate control rate control se ki hota calcium channel blocker and beta blocker ho as we have said earlier av node works via the calcium channels hey so calcium channel blocker ho and if this is unstable tha ban se we do synchronized cardioversion also let's talk about the let's talk about the treatment of atrial flutter a little hey i mean uh, symptoms of atrial flutter is my ki hunsa da the heart is beating real fast hey in atrial flutter but in telegor da he say obviously your impulses are you say cause so and so the ventricles map any conduct by the ventricles also start beating fast key at one point say ventricular rate when it comes fast to your dancer hey you say actually that atrial rate oh but ventricular rate when it don't fast by that say diastolic filling they decrease on the high when ventricles are beating really fast they the will the heart doesn't get enough time to fill me the isn't it heart later time upon the fill hona like this so by which is a key on the top and the heavy cardiac output decrease on your body because the stroke volume is going to decrease and that's the reason despite of the increased heart rate he the cardiac output decrease on top hey cardiac output when the stroke volume times heart rate ho isn't it heart rate increase by that so still cardiac output is decreasing you know when the stroke volume is decrease by like a santa you know by because of this high heart rate So they are going to hear that the patient is going to feel dizzy, and lightheaded, hey, and this way she say left-sided heart failure. Why you want to say obviously the left side lungs mass so be lungs mass go ahead. That's why you want to so be fluid or accumulate. Why you want to obviously the patient is going to have dyspnea. That's why she's going to feel his heartbeat, hey. Palpitation on the palpitation body is a key or the unpleasant sensation of one's heartbeat. So palpitation on the heart is pumping so fast when this is going to feel really tired and exhausted. Hey, and this is just this comfort on the is going to have difficulty exercising. So treatment again again I have already mentioned the treatment for the male beta blockers. We can also give sodium channel blockers. Hey, to decrease the heart rate as I've said already earlier. And this is your calcium channel blockers. I mean potassium channel blockers. And this is your radio frequency ablation for the corona sacrum of the abnormal cell. Hey, whichever cell is generating this abnormal electrical activity, we can ablate those cells. Hey. So, or and the last one is preventing emboli. We'll talk about this in atrial fibrillation. Hey, in detail. Let's watch it. Say here. Ventricular tachycardia. You hear that? Ventricular tachycardia. Go etiology. Might say what do we have? The first one is ischemic heart disease. This is myocarditis. And if any, give us that. Upon the electrical activity imbalance, point of ventricular tachycardia. Go on to aortic stenosis. Say aortic stenosis. Like what's the goal on that? Upon that, as you can see in this picture itself, hey. यो आवर डा चाहिँ यहाँ भेन्ट्रिकल्स बाट चाहिँ आवर डा ले पास गर्नु पर्ने त यहाँ स्टेनोज भइसकेपछि चाहिँ भेन्ट्रिकल चाहिँ एकदमै धेरै प्रेसर पर्छ नि त इट हैज टु बी अन द प्रेसर नि त अन्डर रेजिस्टेंस है आर्टिक स्टेनोसिस हुँदा खेरि त्यो भएपछि चाहिँ यता चाहिँ के हुन्छ त भेन्ट्रिकल्स बिस्तारै बिस्तारै डाइलेट हुन थाल्छ एन्ड देन इट्स गोइंग टु कज एन अबनॉर्मल रिदम अफ द हार्ट है लंग क्यूटी सिन्ड्रोम एलाई चाहिँ हामी टोर्सेट deep point is pani bansam meaning that it's twisting 
around a point, right? The impulses are twisting around the point. So long QT syndrome, they put it. Ventricular tachycardia go on the socks all. It's could different causes or so sometimes long QT syndrome could be congenital, hey. It could pass in families, hey. You would say QT, QT interpreters, hey, it don't elongated in the case to Kisma. Hypokalemia could kiss up any winner socks all. Any you amuderon just the drug slip any long QT syndrome go on socks all by blocking the potassium channels, hey. Or it could even, okay, ventricular like tachycardia could also be idiopathic, right? This I should say ECG magic even such a broad, bizarre complexes, right? It's a broad, yeah, it's just a broadness that he could sign up, but the, uh, it's called ECG pattern, say broad, bizarre complexes, right? Now, treatment might say, Whenever there is an acute attack of ventricular tachycardia, what should we give? We can give IV lidocaine, it's a sodium channel blocker. And in this case, amiodaron venosoxum, this is also a sodium channel blocker. And this is procainamide venosoxum, which is also, I mean, sorry, amiodaron is a potassium channel blocker, and procainamide, which is also a sodium channel blocker, is a directly TC shock for me, venosoxum. Hey, if the person is hemodynamically unstable, this is the case, I'd say, TC shock for me, venosoxum. In between the attacks, hey, when the person is already, when you have actually decreased the heart rate and the person is fine, this to well out, so you can give amiodarone, you can do ablative therapies, hey. Attack your body regular, but it's not possible. And you can conduct electrophysiological studies, hey. If you want to do a catheter insert, we can actually determine which portion of the heart is creating this abnormal activity and this machine, they have, we can work on it, hey. Now let's talk about the irregular rhythms, hey? We are done with the regular rhythms, hey? Okay, now regular rhythms go for our oh, but irregular rhythms. Irregular, bani pashi, say, the heart is not conducting in its, in its normal pattern, hey? An irregular rhythm create kajareko, so, hey? P, Q, R, S, T, kajareko, to regularly jasari passage hunu pandi hu, this to bhai ko chayna. So the most important of the these rhythms are, Atrial fibrillation or ventricular fibrillation. Hey, irregular rhythms. Just remember one thing that is cardioversion, as I've shown in this picture. Hey, most of the time, say LA, uh, hemodynamically unstable around the patient. Hey, and the only choice that we have is cardioversion. This took case, my say. Hey, not in all cases, but hemodynamically unstable patients, my say. Right, uh, let's start uh, Start with atrial fibrillation, etiology of six sinus syndrome. We'll talk about it in detail later, right? You'll say, okay, just remember the name, six sinus syndrome can also cause atrial fibrillation. Mitral stenosis can also cause atrial fibrillation. Again, I'm going to see stenosis by the Sata. The atrial is going to want to contract real hard, you know? Blood pump corner like that. Atrial has to work real hard, you know? So, LA bar da hai jise ki hoon ta da. Pan da hai atria dilate hoon ta. Ani again, te ne te heart rate pani increase ko rona saak sa. Electrical activity ma abnormalities aun na saak sa, right? Ischemic heart disease. Again, there's no fun in explaining, you know. Ani thyrotoxicosis, bio, thyrotoxicosis le pan sympathetic activity la increase ko rona sa. Myocarditis, pericarditis, sa ba ne te ham bro, electrolyte imbalance go around the heart ma because myocarditis ma heart is going to be all swelled up hey myocardium is swelling by go when you go home. inflammation by go when you go home. so this the case matching electrolyte light imbalance hunsa myocardium ma right then you go to atrial fibrillation huna socks ha so what are the symptoms of atrial fibrillation hey it's so much similar to atrial flutter I know. Then atrial flutter mapani, the heart is pumping real fast. And atrial fibrillation mapani, it's the same thing. I kiyun tato. When the heart atria to ectome fast beat goes, so ventricles are also going to be fast, right? Eventually, and that's going to cause decreased ventricular filling. Then you the stroke volume decrease by that thing. Patients like kiyun tato, when the again. 
dizziness, lightheadedness, on top. Palpitations, obviously, because of the fast heart rate, hai? Or, and especially shortness of breath. You take on Sarita, Banda Heri, Yanki Baida, Banada. The blood is not passing as much as it should, Nita. They buy it, say, Kiunzada, yeah. Blood is going to get all jammed up in the lungs. And you tell you, Nahiri Kiunzada, Banada, Banada, lungs, plethoric lungs, on your body, shortness of breath, on a socks, fatigue, on a socks, chest pain, on a socks, hey. Now let's talk about the ECG of atrial fibrillation. Hey, atrial fibrillation like the you rhythm like that. Make you want something irregularly irregular want something, and there is no P waves. Or you know, say atrial flutter. We have we have seen P waves. You know, the P waves like the hamle uh, uppercase F F wave. Let denote carry go. Tell me. Let me show it to you. Hey, and like the F wave. Go on. Go tell me the hamle. Your uppercase F, sorry, F wave. Uppercase, yeah, F. Because you take your waves are here, the here, even they look, they look uh, bigger, Nita, to one that. There, yeah, take also the halko waves, Sata, one that here. We can see the waves, but then it's not clear. And like the small F wave, right? These are small F wave. So, P wave replaced by up to 400 irregular F waves, hey? As my heart rate could go up to up to 400, it could also go up to 600. Atriacal activity could go up to 600. Ventricles activity could go up to 400, hey, no? As I've said earlier, AV node let the filter up any person, hey? So it's not a key boy because I don't know. This is showing the atrial activity, yeah, because it through long pauses or yeah, you don't pause sunny, you say atrial contract gold in the main fast day. Eh? It's showing it the main to do atrial contract for it. So on it anyway, the head is a last one. Why the Q wave go, I mean, curious complex go up strokes, right? Eh? And none of it is regular, right? Eta koti ora RR interval ma koti ora boxes sa to tinta boxes sa eta duita boxes sa eta RR interval ma koti ora boxes sa three large boxes sa hey. So none of it is regular, hey. Irregularly irregular rhythm, hey. So this is what you call atrial fibrillation. Or is ko treatment ma dum hey ta. Treatment ma the kile determine gor sa to banda kiri the duita ko le determine gor sa hey. Still say Kyoto, Banda Hiri, keep the patient's hemodynamically unstable, so keep the stable, so you could really do the minor. So, hey, if the patient is hemodynamically unstable, meaning that patient go heart rate take the high, so patient let's say enough blood pie go to China and hypertensive when they saw a given because the state to keep on it. The stroke fall and say it's only degrees by the hey, patient take them unstable. So, when it is the case now, we have no other option. And let's say, give one person to bond that cardio version for a person. We have to give him shock. Hey, this is your immediate synchronous cardio version for a person. But if the patient is hemodynamically stable, hey, meaning that uh, he doesn't have much of complications in Sunny Dun say the unstable patient mounts are because this to gain it high is stable by it. First time like you were in a sock something but that we can exclude or treat correctable conditions. Hi. So what are these conditions? So this could be anything. Again, I want to just say hypothyroidism, lipid corona, socks, atrial fibrillation, hey, hypovolemia, sabani pin that can also lead to atrial fibrillation, hypoventilation, the corona socks, ischemia, sabani. Obviously, we can do something to ablate the ischemic, ischemic region, hey, that is firing autonomously, electrolyte disturbance, sabani. We can correct that one, hey, before directly giving this shocks to the patient we can exclude or treat the correctable condition hey the and if this person say what can we do hey family this person is a key one of the center do it a category in so hey treatment go you know that's a rhythm control so or could say weight control so hey rhythm control now again for the key cardio version of any hey let us suppose i'm you so big like food quality and day and there is no way we can treat the patient this ma bani feri ki sata and last option ki aun sata cardio version ya aun sata ki ta 
Yes, ma. Rhythm control ko sirip ni ko na sa akin sa tayo. Drugs siya pa ni. Hey, anti arrhythmic drugs siya pa ni. Class one A, one C, one ko sodium channel blockers siya. Ti class three pa ni ko potassium channel blockers siya. Hey. This was your rate control one. So, if you rate control, say, consider one of them. When that keep better blockers zero, it leads to some better supply to cause coronary bile calcium channel blockers zero. As I've said earlier, S A note or A V note for action say it's purely dependent on the calcium channels. So, calcium channel block coronary one say S A note or A V note pairing is also going to decrease. Then you're going to say the ventricles are going to get enough time to fill. Hey. And the last one is digoxin. If that's a mile key bond, you know, bond that is called a digital slit, a vagal stimulation, but you call on the hey, this is a rate control call on the when you give digitalis, it's going to cause vagal stimulation, and that's how it causes keto rate control. Or go take consider anticoagulation when safe. Cost to cost the condition at the anticoagulation, then I'll talk about it. The anticoagulation, kina din ay pani, I'll talk about it. Hey, ta. Okay, let's talk about why are we supposed to give anticoagulation in this case? Is ma say atria by the ventricles ma? Danu per niho blood, right? But then, as you can see, the atria is trying so hard to pass the blood to the ventricles. Hey, it ti pump ko niya pani pala pala say ventricles contract by right. So 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 the blood is going to remain stagnant in the atria. Hey, there is not much movement of blood over here. Right, the blood is going to remain stagnant. Dali ko na hey, it's a stagnant blood volume. Taki unsa coagulation hunu chances high unsa right. So that is going to cause coagulation. अब के बने तो बंदा है भी अब लेट्स जंप इनटू द द इंडिकेशंस ऑफ लॉन्ग टर्म एंटीकोआगुलेशन है तो कुछ तो कुछ तो केस में तो हमने लॉन्ग टर्म एंटीकोआगुलेशन दी नहीं तो है कुछ सब भी पेशेंट लाइट एंटीकोआगुलेशन दी ना मिल लाइन आता दी ना उधर ही ना पनी है कुछ एंटीकोआगुलेशन माइट आल्सो कॉज स्पॉन्टेनियस INR and this is going to have to follow up his uh, INR PT ratio all the time and it's going to be very much uh, troublesome for the patient, right? So, cost of the case might say long term anticoagulation be it all. But the hell you say, yeah, it's a mnemonic, I'm not sure if I can call it a mnemonic, a CHA2DS2 PASC score. So, hey, C stands for congestive heart failure, then it's a one point in some H stands for hypertension. You your case matter. We have to give anticoagulation. Hey, if the score is greater than equal to two, that's the case matter. I'm the anticoagulation. Be ne for sa ita. Or just a heart failure. Ku case ma hypertension. Ku case ma. These are all high risk cases. Hey, and this is A two one. Ita check it out. But the age is greater than seventy five years. And why is this called A two one? The head say it has two points. Hey. और रे मैं वन पॉइंट था कॉन्जेस्टिव हार्ट फेलियर वन पॉइंट था हाइपरटेंशन मैं वन पॉइंट था बट ए टू इट हैज टू पॉइंट्स है इधर डी स्टैंड्स फॉर डायबिटीज एंड देन एस टू वन इट इस स्ट्रोक वाइज स्ट्रोक आल्सो हैज अगेन टू पॉइंट्स वाइज स्ट्रोक आई सेल्फ पेशन लाइक वी कैन नॉट जस्ट लेट हिम गो विदाउट इसको जो इंडिकेशन से कौन से केस में दिने तो ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल तू टू बाय वन दिने होने तो बी स्टैंड्स ऑफ वेस्कुलर डिजीज़ेस दैट हैज वन पॉइंट है इस ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल तू सिक्सटी फाइव है इन आल्सो हैज वन पॉइंट है ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल तू सेवेंटी फाइव बाय वन ही टू पॉइंट्स ग्रे� so, okay, now we had talked about the rhythm control and weight control, right? Mostly the rhythm control is in so, but in which cases can we give weight control? Banda hiri sahi. Is ma bani ke sada and the mild symptoms sa bani. Obviously, why would we want to give any patient shock, right? If we can just control his symptoms by just giving drugs, nita beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, lene sa bhi correct on sa bani. Why would we give shock? Hey na, the bara mild symptoms sa bani. We are going to give. Okay, weight control. If the age is greater than 65, maybe you will not be able to handle the shock. Right? This is she failed cardioversion. Okay, if the cardioversion fails, then obviously we are going to have to revert back to the 
medical treatment. Ano ito sa siya? Heart failure? Kita left ventricular dysfunction? Saba niyo pa ni... I mean, sorry, no heart failure and then no left ventricular dysfunction, then we are going to get rate control. Hi. But if you have adverse effect that you have in a patient, we can also give rate control. We do not have to just give these uh, rhythm control. You carry cardio version in the China. Right. Now let's talk about ventricular fibrillation, escoetiology, mate, again, ischemic heart disease, hyperkalemia, cardiomyopathy, also sepsis can cause ventricular fibrillation because of the cytokines that is released in the blood, hey? And this machine, or go la, etiology of body, right? ECG, mate, ventricular fibrillation, ECG, irregular in a body, it's an irregular rhythm. There's varying amplitudes. Hey, amplitudes when you differ garza. Absent clear P wave. Hey, P wave pani clear hu day no. And the rate is going to be 150 to 300 beats per minute. So it's so unta hai ta. Rate when you mind going to fucking noise ma. By the ECG, hey, rhythm can also can't be determined. P wave can't be seen and this was she. So it's it's basically it only happens right, right? The waves are. So it's like the cursory treat going it on the head. It's it's almost like an end stage thing, right? As much as we do not have any other options than giving cardio version, right? And in between the cardio versions, I am keeping it going to suck some plus CPR, but it's not suck some. Yeah. So yeah, they have the patches or not like it's only cardio version could like. So your patches are you need say uh impulses are there or they keep or so don't that entire heart could with them like say regular one on a try or say hey certain amount of uh time mad say you know i need to say she impulses are there hey it was a specific uh specific ones of the impulses funny and it's good between my day kid or no socks at the button ones are usually hey and in between this these we can also to CPR, hey. CPR when you go in but we need to be very careful, hey, when you're giving these uh these electrical shocks to the patient. Maybe you're not supposed to touch the patient, hey. Everyone is supposed to just stay away from the patient's bed. This part she say where let's talk about bradyarrhythmia now, right? Bradyarrhythmia is a kick it's hot, you have sinus bradycardia, AV blocks are honey. Six sinus syndromes are heta. Now let's talk about sinus bradycardia. What happens in sinus bradycardia? Again, it's sinus uh, sinus tachycardia ma bani because this is sinus bradycardia is also slowing of the SA node, right? Sinus bani bitte ke. It has to do with the SA node, hey. So. And obviously, bradycardia is slowing of the heart rate. It's much obviously P wave, QRS complex, T waves. They talk they say normally, hey, and the re and the, it's regular. Yeah, hey. yeah. Just if you count the large boxes, so they might say one, two, three, four, five, five and a half boxes. The so they so they might it's regular, right? So, esko causes or the kiki hota. But that you that AV blocking medications in the socks, as we said earlier, AV blocking medications go mnemonic ABCD, but need the thermally adenosine, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, which is a spy. Now, this is a heightened vagal tone. Now, in the socks, athletes are not normally ready for their because of the heightened vagal tone. Six sinus syndrome map and again sinus bradycardia on the socks. So hypothyroidism mauna socks, hypothermia mauna socks, hypoglycemia, obstructive sleep apnea. Now let's talk about second degree. Oh, I mean symptoms of uh, bradycardia. Hey, bradycardia because symptoms obviously the heart rate degrees by Pashiki on it. Cardiac output when you decrease on your body, cardiac output decrease by second push is a key on the The person is going to feel light headedness and dizziness, especially with exertion. Hey, that's why she say easy fatigability on your body. Blood drum, they're pugay kuhuday now. This is a syncope on a socks, brain map, blood 
नपुगेर जेस लिया हुन सक्छ जेस पेन एन्ड डिस्कम्फर्ट हुन सक्छ कन्फ्युजन पनि हुन सक्छ राइट सो ए वी ब्लक है त दिस इज अबाउट साइनस टाइम ब्रैडिकार्डिया बस अब नी देयर इज नॉट मच दैट वी कैन डू अबाउट इट एस मैट ते हैम ट्रिगरिंग फैक्टर्स या अबॉलिश कर दे बने और ब्रैडिकार्डिया पनी अबॉलिश हो जाएगा नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द ए वी ब्लक ए वी ब्लक से देयर आर थ्री थ्री डिग्रीज ऑफ ए वी ब्लक ए वी ब्लक है फर्स्ट डिग्री सेकंड डिग्री या थर्ड डिग्री फर्स्ट डिग्री से के लेगर ना खेले हम साथ तो एम आई लेगर दा होना सक्सा है and this is she is a drug such as cyclocsin and ecg is a concern so this is a ecg is very important day eh? and distinguishing all these three blocks first degree av block ecg is a concern so to when i can be regular in the case so to pr interval prolonged and say prolonged pr interval you have to go my here my talk so this is a p way the pr interval thing yeah prolonged by the song यहाँ पर पीआर इंटरवल प्रोलॉंग यहाँ पर पीआर इंटरवल प्रोलॉंग हई सो एवं रेगुलर रिदम पीआर इंटरवल प्रोलॉंग हम फर्स्ट डिग्री ब्लक भाई ना सेकेंड डिग्री ब्लक हाई तो सेकेंड डिग्री ब्लक एगेन वी कैन डिफ्रेंसिटेड इन टू मोबिल्स टाइप वन रोबिल्स टाइप टू Mobile type one method. What's going to happen is there is going to be gradually increasing PR. Okay, now the key thing is that when the PR is a, it's a cost to form a bond. The regular form may PR interval is a stable rate on the so by the regular rate method PR interval increase by that goes on the. But as I said, key is that mobile type one method gradually increasing PR interval is a. So increase who they who they go ahead. There is going to be an omission of PR interval. Hey, culminating in omission. So yeah, key is that. But that this is more this type one. Again, I'm pointing to the state. Yeah, in the PR interval, it is more this way. And then what's going to happen in this one? PR interval only got to increase for you. Hey, gradually increasing PR interval. PR interval increased again in this one. And then here. This is the P wave, and there is no QRS complex. So increase who they who they go ahead. Last month the QRS complex they omit go ahead, and so this is what we call Morbius one or rank back phenomenon. So you want to say it like Morbius one or rank back phenomenon. Remember all these names because in in MC anything can be asked. Hey, so if you have a name, you have to go ahead. It's not it's not okay for MC because anything can be asked. So Morbius type one is usually physiological ones, huh? Okay. So well, let's talk about Morbius type two. As I say, there is no gradual increase in PR interval or nothing such as that, right? No preceding increase in PR interval, right? But there is certain omission of PV. So let's see. As I say, keep on it goes out on that. Hey, there is no preceding increase in PR interval. So see, PR interval is it's it's normal, right? So we may equally so PR interval, but just look at this. Say PR is a so the W P pushy Q R S complex. Say the W P wave pushy Q R S complex. So but look at this. There is an omission of Q R S complex after this P wave. You know, abruptly. Okay, more with type two might say gradually increasing patterning. You know, there is an abrupt sudden omission of P wave. Right? Yeah, figure out. You need to just say there is sudden omission of P wave over here. Okay, now let's talk about the symptoms of AV block. AV block of symptoms, obviously you can guess some of it, right? AV block by the shaky, you know, so the syncopal attacks, you know, so because the blood is not passing through the atria to the ventricles, so other rules, the heart, the brain is also not going to receive enough blood that could cause syncopal attacks, sudden pallor. Cerebral anoxia, hey, brain matte, oxygen go commonly, convulsions when you know soxa, dyspnea when you know soxa, and then angina. So how will this cause angina? Banda, can you say? As I've said in my previous lecture, hey, the first organ that the heart supplies is the heart itself. Do you say cause the result? Banda, coronary arteries for the heart. Let's say after life first must supply the result. Abo heart. 
तर यहाँ तो कार्डियक आउटपुट है डिड बी स्पाइड पर शे हार्डली पनी इनफ ब्लड पाउंड है ना तो इस पर शे क्यों तो तो देर इस गोइंग टू बी केमिया तो ले गोइंग दहेज से एंजाइनल अटैक पर प्रेसिपिटेट होना सॉक्स है ये तो साइंस में तो ऑब्वियसली व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू चेक इस पॉल्स यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड पॉल फॉर्मेशन है ये जब मिसिंग बीट फॉर्म है सॉक्स में हमले नाउ ट्रीटमेंट में तो मोर मिस टाइप वन से यूजुअली फिजियोलॉजिकल बनी होना सॉक्स में पॉल को ले जस्ट वन इज रीन व्हेन आइसोलेटेड राइट If mommy's type one is just isolated without any other abnormalities of the heart, we will just monitor the patient. Okay. Right? The mommy's type two, as a year, going to have to pace the heart. Get the temporary pacing, get the permanent pacing. Go no person. Okay. The pacemaker is introduced. Call it a. Hey, heart ma. Now let's talk about the right and left bundle branch block. I'm just going to talk about the ECG changes. Hey, right bundle branch block might take us to ECG changes. Or right, left bundle branch block might take okay, okay, ECG changes. On top of it all. So what's going to happen in the right bundle branch block? The QRS complex duration is going to increase. Hey, normally it's 0.12 second or 120 microseconds. So the right bundle branch block might this duration is going to increase. Then give us a top on that. Can you? RSR pattern is how one is going to be saw. Hey, as I've said earlier, the first positive deflection in the heart is R wave. Hey, R wave for she go. Negative deflection is S wave. And again, there is another positive deflection, so that's again R wave. So there is going to be RSR pattern in the right bundle branch block. Hey, so you see, give me one. So the leads V one or V two. So heart matter V1 or V2 the right side of the heart like denote corsa and this is it this is very V5 V6 the you know, lateral left side of the heart like denote corsa hey so V1 V2 ne also when it comes to right bundle branch block get the RR pattern when you know socks are in leads V1 or V2 that is two positive deflections hey positive deflections are me R V bundle but there are two positive deflections and R R Pattern one or one or some. Let's say M shaped one or some. Sometimes question might be R and also there are M shaped patterns. If you may see some one or one, let's put some socks on, right? So R S R. You know R is a small letter. Masa, you know, say capital letter. Masa, you say this denotes your long up stroke. Okay. As much as short waves, and the amplitude short, and the as much as amplitude is very long, do they don't carry go? And then third match they get the top one that can be wide and slurred S in B6. Hey, wide and slurred S wave in B6. So you have the right one on branch block boy. Now let's talk about the left one on branch block. Hey, this match it's very much easy. You're going to see W in B1 and M in B6. Hey, left one on branch block one. W in B1 and M in B6. Hey. M like the given one because of the notched R wave when you want to go. And if V1 go your W pattern like the given one, so dominant S wave when you want to go. Hey, because the name, like dominant S wave when you want to go. Okay. This is a third degree complete AV block. The third degree is the most severe one. You know, and here it's a complete AV block. Oh, hey, nothing is passing from. H we are to the ventricles, eh? A V block complete, A V notes are completely blocked by the cell. This is what I say. Given that, as I said earlier, hey, when any one of our uh, systems in the heart is not working, given that one era one goes out of one. Let me show you this picture. Hey, that very first one. So complete block map or third degree block map, say A V note is not working at all. So as you know, the fiber reagents of atria is contracting. So the elastin barrier goes in. So keep in mind about that. Now the Purkinje fibers, their autonomous activity comes into play. This the boy fish is a Purkinje fibers are going to beat now. Hey, going to start its own autonomous activity. Hey, you know, it's a backup system on the. Hey, as you know, the backup system when you on the. And the AV node come now very fast. So obviously, Purkinje fibers has to pump. Has to start the autonomic activity. This way, she's a breaking your fibers. The it's the autonomous activity start going on. So, 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 breaking your fibers is not as the 
impulses from the Purkinje fiber, it's not going to be as fast as the normal heartbeat. Hey? So, bradycardia on this. So, say, it's the case, Mate. Okay. So, third degree heart block. As I've said earlier, what's going to happen in that one? There is not going to be any relationship between P waves and QRS complex. In order singly, say, contract by the Ecosanto, P waves can go to the Ecosanto, SA not go actively go to the Ecosanto, SA not is still working. Right. So P wave occurs because of that and QRS complex again because of the Perkins variance activity. So there is no relationship. Hey, eh? haphazard means uh, P wave, uh, P wave, all that even on a success, high even on a success, QRS complex score. It's going to be very haphazard. So related may constant PP interval and R interval, right? But PP intervals because PP interval is due to the SA nodal firing. So it's going to be constant and R interval is also going to be a constant. So there's going to be greater number of P waves than QRS complexes. As I've said earlier, SA node activity is much faster than Purkinje system activity, right? Purkinje fiber school. So there are going to be more P waves than the QRS complexes. This is how one is it? It's third degree complete heart block, complete AV block. Okay. So what are the causes? It could be drug induced agonoponical drugs are to get to the beta blocker, calcium channel blocker, and digitalis. Or go cause the inferior wall MI Inferior wall MI It's the blockage of right coronary artery. Hey, I've talked about this in the ischemic heart disease lecture. Hey, inferior MI is the blockage of right coronary artery. So when there is blockage of right coronary artery, what does the right coronary artery supply? It also supplies the SA node and the AV node. I know. They buy that's a key means how to bond that heavy inferior MI matching. AV node must supply come by that the AV node will impact by everything. AV node go complete blockage when you know go on a socks atrial anterior infarction map in the socks because. Uh, anterior infarction, but there is also going to be septal infarction, right? And it might affect the AV node or varicella zoster virus infection. Okay. Now let's talk about the treatment of a AV third degree AV block, or let's let's say yeah, let's say just AV block. Hey, eh? treatment of AV block. Say ki thata panda hey. First, we can we can try medicines, right? Hey? Medicines matter. Like there is atropine. Hey, atropine. Let's say it's an anticholinergic drug. Hey, muscarinic receptors go action like block curry. Let's say let's say key goes out of one. Like sympathetic stimulation, they increase coronary oxygen. So sympathetic stimulation increase by second. So it's going to work on SA node as well as the AV node. So AV node. So AV nodal conduction like fairy, we generate coronal soxa, epinephrine, lipin, seam coronal soxa. Hey, and recently they have also found that nitroglycerin is of help. There are evidences, hey, nitroglycerin is also helpful. And that's why she said, Kia going to sock some the honey, but that is a temporary pacemaker, get a permanent pacemaker, funny, install coronal soxa. Hey, in the patient. Okay, this is. This is regarding the AV block. Okay, now comes the sick sinus syndrome. Sick sinus syndrome is a cure. one that it's a degenerative disease of SA node. So you have to old age might usually in a hey, or especially in the patients who have who have had previous MI. This the case is not say cure. SA node say suppose a uh, uh, right side of coronary artery disease. How one say SA node. SA nodal infarct by Gona Soxa, SA node can be fibrotic, or it delivers the hey, it's a gradual degeneration of the SA node by Gona Soxa, hey, it's a sinus syndrome. So, delivers the hey, it's a cumulative. There's going to be bradycardia alternating with tachycardia. So, it's not just bradycardia, hey, it is bradycardia alternating with tachycardia. Okay. So, 
यो डायग्नोज करने से क्या करने तो बंद है क्योंकि वी नीड टू पुट द पेशेंट्स ऑन द हॉल हॉल टू मॉनिटरिंग है एक तरह से मॉनिटर करने से आगे ना तो यू नीड यू नीड टू बी ऑन द क्वांटिनस मॉनिटरिंग के हॉल टू मॉनिटरिंग करने है फॉर डायग्नोसिस अन्य ड्रग्स वर्स इन इट वी नॉट सपोज टू गिव हिम एनी ड्रग्स है लेट अस सपोज वी गिव हिम बेटा ब्लॉकर्स है बेटा ब्लॉकर्स इज गोइंग टू वर्क जस्ट फाइन फॉर टैकी कार्डिया बट अगेन ही इज गोइंग टू हैव ब्रैडी कार्डिया अल्टरनेटिंग विद टैकी कार्डिया नी तो सो वी कैन नॉट जस्ट गिव हिम एनी ड्रग्स है ड्रग्स लेट से कंडीशन वर्स इन होना सकता सो द ओनली ट्रीटमेंट हियर इज पेस मेकर है ना एंड लेट से आर्टिफिशियल पेस मेकर इंस्टॉल करे दैट वी कैन Actually, treat the patient in this condition, right? Is mic on, guys? Okay. Okay. Now let's talk about the cases, Aita. We finish with our topics, right? Arithmia, so be so cute. Now we'll talk about the cases, right? So okay, let's start. A twenty-six-year-old woman. Follow with me, right? So, my sabi, my your case pin here, your full part two. Just follow with me. A 26-year-old woman presents to the ER complaining of sudden onset of palpitations and severe shortness of breath and coughing. So, sudden onset of palpitations and severe shortness of breath and coughing. Hey, right? she reports that she has experienced several episodes of palpitation. In the past, often lasting a day or two, but never with this dyspnea like this. So this is the first time she had had a dyspnea attack, right? By the way, the palpitation voice okay, good too. But this is the first time that she has had a dyspnea attack. She has a history of rheumatic fever at the age of fourteen years. She denies use of any other medications, tobacco, alcohol, or illicit drugs, right? On examination, her heart rate is one forty beats per minute. Hey, she has tachycardia and is irregularly irregular. She's feeling dizzy and blood pressure is ninety two over sixty five. Hey, respiratory rate of twenty four beats per minute, twenty four breaths per minute. And oxygen saturation of ninety four percent on room air. Hey. She appears uncomfortable with labored respirations. She's coughing, producing scant amount of frothy sputum with a pinkish tint. Hey, now just notice all these symptoms. Hey, your symptoms. The key to symptoms are what the cough, why this are. Hey, scanty amounts of frothy sputum with a pinkish tint. One here, one here. Because the frothy sputum, hey, blood tint sputum, how you say. Okay, with the left-sided heart failure, the symptoms are all you know, right? So she has ruddy cheeks, meaning that she has red tinge in her cheeks, hey, and a normal jugular venous pressure. Normal jugular venous pressure, let's say, denote cardiac top on the right-sided heart failure. The boy was high now, so it has basically to do with left-sided heart failure, right? Right-sided heart failure when the jugular venous pressure on the boy, and this which is bilateral pitting edema on the boy, right? But she has what does she have? Banda Hari say she has bilateral inspiratory crackles in the lower lung fields. Hey, bilateral inspiratory crackles means so. So this is a typical case. Hey, the on cardiac examination, her heart rhythm is irregularly irregular with a loud S one. Hey, loud S one and low pitched diastolic murmur at the apex. Apex means to keep. But the light of on the low pitch diastolic murmur, her apical impulse is not displaced. Okay, and she has no peripheral edema. So peripheral edema, but not high now. So everything denotes that she has left sided heart failure. As much as the key points are right, whenever we are doing any cases, we have got to remember all the key points. Okay, it don't be mindful either when we are solving cases or any other MCQs. We have got to be very mindful, hey, of every detail that has been given. Every details has the cue to the diagnosis. They buy right, don't be mindful. No person either. Age, let me tell you that there is good or bad. I'm like, hey, everything. So. Let's go to the questions, Aita. What is the most likely diagnosis? So, can anyone just guess 
if you guys are online. I'm not sure if you guys are even listening. Okay, that's okay. So the most likely diagnosis is secure, that atrial fibrillation hole, because I think I've also placed the ventricular fibrillation in the option. Okay, that's okay. So atrial fibrillation is the most likely diagnosis. You take consider atrial fibrillation by the, we'll talk about it later. What is the most likely cause in this patient? Kiki is the option now, but the infective endocarditis, mitral stenosis, acute MI, a vertex stenosis, right? So if you have read the question properly, yeah, the typical features they go, say, is the answer. One of the, is the answer with typical features they go, say. So what is it, Banda Hede, say? The patient has a history of rheumatic fever, Banda Hede, say, Anita Sashi, say, ki Banda Hede, say, ta, Banda Hede, usko, say, he, ask all day for the Hede, say, what has been heard, ta, S1, very loud S1, and a low pitch diastolic murmur, Banda Hede, say, Loud S1 and a diastolic murmur day, or let us add here mid diastolic to be even more precise. Eh? Mid diastolic murmur, the kima means hot up on the heavy, you take him on the boy dog, mitral stenosis mounts on the so the answer here is mitral stenosis, and obviously, mitral stenosis leads to the atrial fibrillation. Had it been aortic stenosis, it would lead to keta ventricular fibrillation. Hey, again, the derma I had, I had shown to you, yeah, atrial stenosis, uh, my, uh, mitral stenosis by when the atrial fibrillation, aortic stenosis by when the ventricular fibrillation. Hey, and I hope it's clear. Or go say which one of the follow, which of the following is the most appropriate step? Step, right? Hey, IV digoxin or calcium channel blockers or DC cardioversion. So as I said earlier, the first thing we have got to do whenever a patient of atrial fibrillation comes to us is we need to make sure that the person is hemodynamically stable. Right? Hemodynamically unstable patients are We are not going to do anything directly in right? DC cardioversion gurney. So in this case, is the patient hemodynamically stable? He's not, right? He's feeling dizzy. He's got blood pressure when he got this. Hey, he's having labored respiration as well. Left-sided heart failure is already. So we are going to have to do DC cardioversion, right? Now the fourth one is, what is the treatment of choice of supraventricular tachycardia? I have added this question, Kina Bonda. Can you say this is one of the most common questions, eh, when it comes to arrhythmia? NMC, ma, it's not question so the right ones are key your question supraventricular tachycardia could say adenosine ho kina bani ele junctional rhythm like they block corsa hey adenosine like a corsa to junctional rhythm block corsa is a very sobe cases not applying you know but supraventricular tachycardia in some cases matter adenosine works because as i've said earlier junctional rhythm block corny it's out of the drugs are okay okay hota av nodal junction block corny hey a b c d adenosine beta blocker calcium channel blocker and digitalis so the answer is adenosine treatment of choice of supraventricular tachycardia and the fifth one is treatment of choice of patients with delta wave on ecg is so as I've said earlier, Delta wave on ECG came out to the Wolf Parkinson White syndrome mount. So, hey, so Wolf Parkinson White syndrome might say, keep going it up. Can we give digoxin? Can we give calcium channel blockers? So let me talk about this again. Hey, I think I've forgotten to mention about this thing. So Wolf Parkinson White say, got us home and I hear, yeah. Yeah, it's a bundle of Kent matters. See what abnormal pathways are, right? As I've said earlier, calcium channel blockers, any beta blockers, any digital key blockers, the AV nodal blockers and So when we give these drugs in both Parkinson White, this is the case match cune sata banda heri AV node block by the ulta cune sata. As a sorry part we say enhance by the key when we block the AV node. So in case of Wolf Parkinson's White syndrome, this AV nodal blocking drugs should be contraindicated. accessory pathway like enhanced guidance so by blocking the AV node. So let us see hey, the MS option. What's the best option, right? Hey? Every time we need to see what's the best option, right? Hey? So digoxin, 
अगे इट्स गोइंग टू एनहांस द एवी नोडल पाथ आई मीन द बंडल ऑफ कैंट पाथवे है कैशमी चैनल ब्लॉक इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू एनहांस द बंडल ऑफ कैंट इस इनवेटर डजंट हैव एनीथिंग टू डू विद एरेथमियम है सो द आंसर हियर इज प्रोकीन अमाइड दैट इज द सोडियम चैनल ब्लॉकर सो दिस विल हेल्प इलेट द की गोइंग टू द प्रोकीन अमाइड ले प्रोकीन अमाइड ले से सेल्स लाइट रिफ्रैक्टरी फेज में रखता है बंडल ऑफ कैंट लाइट गोइंग टू It's going to increase the refractory period eh, of the bundle of Kent, and re-entry light eh, will block curving. So any re-entry part, any re-entry impulse, it is going to block that later. So that's it for today. Right, we have finished with our class today. So if you have any questions, you can ask. Otherwise, we shall dismiss the class for today. Right. So I don't think there are any other any questions remaining. Okay.